Good morning. Jesus appears to Mary, and she goes to tell her friends. What is their reaction? Today we're at Mark 16, verses 9 through 13. Let's see what the Bible says. Now when he arose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven demons. She went out and told those who had been with him, as they mourned and wept. And when they heard that he was alive and had seen her, they did not believe. After that, he appeared in another form to two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it to the rest, but they did not believe them either. What? This wonderful news and they don't believe their own, their own brothers and sisters? We look back 2,000 years. It seems, it seems weird to us that those who were followers of Jesus were so slow to believe this wonderful news. I mean, Jesus has done all these miracles. He's raised others from the dead right, right in front of their faces, some of these things, and countless other things. Is it so hard to believe that he's risen? Now, in our passage that we looked at here, uh, Mary and these other two that Jesus appears to, when, he, when they see him, they, all of them believe. They believe that it's him. But in every case here that we have in our little passage, when they tell others, they don't believe it. Now remember, these are all people who would be favorably disposed toward Jesus. These are people who, who would want to believe that he had risen, but they don't believe. This is not a charming or joyful or, or encouraging fact that many who had thought Jesus was Messiah were slow to believe that he really was after he rose from the dead. Why does Mark include it? Why does he give us this, this look into the ease of unbelief that some people have? I think it's because we have a little bit too much anticipation of our own ability to, to weigh things out, to rationally uh, figure out what the facts are. We trust our, our own judgment quite quickly, and we're, in a very, we're highly individualistic. Now, we're living in a time right now when we're getting collectives and, and groups kind of re-emphasized, and some of it is definitely overdone. But for the Christian, for the Christian, for, for you and I, we should have a stronger belief a stronger willingness, a stronger uh, anticipation that our own brothers and sisters, our spiritual fellow spiritual seekers, that when they have an insight for us, that it's it, that there's something from heaven in it for us. We should we should take them more seriously, and perhaps that's one of the things going on here. They trusted too much in their own. Uh, Oh, well, this, these people must be telling us a crazy story. They trusted too much in their own rationality. We need to be more closely connected with our own brothers and sisters in the church, and we need to take what they say more credibly. You know what? We are missing some blessings because we're not hearing from our own brothers and sisters. We're missing some blessings because we are slow to believe the spiritual insights that some of them have to share with us. Now, I don't know about you, but as far as my walk goes... I am ready for every spiritual, I need every spiritual blessing that I can have. I need it. I must have it. So I don't want to discount or lose or leave, leave behind anything that is a gift that God wants to give me through my brother. So let's pay close attention. Let's, let's be more connected with our brothers and sisters in our local church congregation where we, where we are members and where we serve the Lord Jesus. And we will be blessed. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. You are alive. We serve a risen Lord. We serve a God who is the God of the living, not of the dead. Help us, Lord, to be ready to hear, quick to respond, quick to believe your things. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer, our request to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are missing opportunities for spiritual growth. I don't want to miss any more of them. May God help us to draw closer to each other and rather than trusting in our own mighty reasoning capabilities. We need to draw close to others who are seeking Jesus too. God be with you. Have a wonderful day. We serve a risen Savior. If you're being benefited by these short devotionals, hey, would you um, go ahead and subscribe? Go ahead and subscribe, like the video, put a comment in.